Have you ever seen a rock that looks like it has thumbprints pressed into it? Let's talk Meteorite 101 and make sure to follow to learn more about space rocks. These little dimpled features that look like thumbprints are called regmaglyphs, and they're one of the coolest ways to tell you're actually holding a real space rock. The word regmaglyph comes from the Greek, basically meaning etched by fire, and that's not really too far off of how these are created. When a meteoroid blasts into Earth's atmosphere at over 50,000 miles per hour, it experiences insane heat and pressure, enough to melt its surface. As the surface melts, intense airflow starts stripping material away. But here's the cool part. It doesn't melt evenly. The meteor is actually tumbling, and the surface isn't perfectly smooth. Air swirls around bumps or cracks or mineral variations and creates tiny little turbulent zones, almost like miniature whirlwinds on the surface of the stone. And these turbulent spots heat up more and melt faster. The heat digs in, forming little hollows where molten material is pulled away more aggressively. And the result? Well, it's these scooped out little dimples or regmaglyphs. In some rare cases, these thumbprints aren't just dimples. They're long, kind of fluted grooves that seem to stretch in one direction. That usually means that the meteor wasn't tumbling during flight. Instead, it held a stable orientation, kind of like a bullet flying nose th first through the air. In that case, the heat and airflow eroded the surface more predictably, creating these elongated regmaglyphs that point backwards from the leading edge of the stone. It's kind of like the meteorite got streamers carved into it by the fire. You can find regmaglyphs on stone and iron meteorites alike, as you see in the pictures I'm showing you here, but keep in mind that not every meteorite has regmaglyphs. If a meteorite broke up in the atmosphere or exploded on impact, those features might be missing entirely, or they may just get worn down by erosion on Earth's surface over time. Now, lots of terrestrial rocks have features that look like thumbprints, so it takes a bit of a trained eye to recognize the difference. Just because a stone appears to have these features doesn't necessarily mean it's a meteorite. For ones that did come from the cosmos, regmaglyphs represent a one-of-a-kind space story forged in fire and carved in stone and metal. Pretty neat.